Hello guys, I'm Luis Sevilla, also known as Daylor, and this is going to be the first video vlog of a series that we are going to be talking about our brand, uh, our product, our processes, and why we are developing uh, these weird keyboards. In this first vlog, we're going to be presenting the shortcut and the race, both keyboards that we've been uh, developing. But I think it's really important to understand the context of us developing uh, this product, that is to increase performance, uh, health and comfort of uh, professional players. Uh, the idea of this whole project, what, what ignited this was when I was uh, coaching in the LCS, uh, multiple of my players were injured and also multiple of my uh, opposing, of the opposing team's players were injured too. So uh, I started looking for answers, looking for solutions for my players. And I realized that in the peripheral industry, there was nothing in gaming uh, to prevent or to help rehab players with injuries. So after doing some research and uh, consulting with health experts, um, we decided to move on with the project because there was nothing in the peripheral market that uh, was trying to solve that players were getting injured. Something to take into account is that uh, nothing we're going to be showing here, it's actually a, a final product. Uh, there are prototypes. A prototype is like a, a beta version or an alpha version uh, in a game. So these are uh, products uh, under development. Uh, the project started in, in September and we announced it in January. But since September, we're, we've been working on, on our first product. The shortcut. This that you're seeing here is the sixth version and in this particular prototype what, what we are trying to, to test is the shape of the case, we've reduced the size, also we have uh, adjustable columns so uh, you can adjust the columns depending on what's the shape and size of your hand. Also we have adjustable palm rest, uh, adjustable uh, thumb cluster and uh, we are testing also with different materials uh, for, for the palm rest and we've redesigned the, the thumb. Uh, what we've redesigned of the thumb is we've uh, made it simpler because before there were eight buttons per thumb and there were two thumbsticks that work uh, as joysticks. We've removed one of the thumbsticks and now there's only one of them and we have a button next to it and a button underneath. So the learning curve is shorter because you have instead of two buttons that work in the same way, you have three buttons that, that work in different ways. Uh, the reason of all this would be to uh, reduce the, the travel distance of our fingers and also reduce the movement of, of our of our hand and wrist to reduce the stress in all our uh, joints and, and muscles. Uh, in the shortcut you can uh, reach all keys without raising your hand from the keyboard and uh, you, don't, you never need to move sideways uh, your hands. Since the beginning of the project we knew that the shortcut has a steep learning curve and that's because the keys are positioned in a different place than a regular keyboard. So you need to relearn how to place your hands and, and use the keyboard. For gaming, this is not really an issue because in one week you can be playing at a very similar level that you were playing before. But for typing is something that uh, requires probably months. During the development process, uh, we realized that even though the learning curve is steep, that was not the main issue of our testers. The main issue of our testers were that the fact of starting to relearn how to use the keyboard was already a huge wall. So at that point, we started to focus on improving uh, the user experience. So uh, doing stuff like modifying the configurator and uh, kind of creating tutorials and video guides of how to properly uh, configure uh, the keyboard. With all we learned during the development process of the shortcut, we realized that we already have the technical knowledge to develop a keyboard that is better than the keyboards out there. But we still need more time to uh, finish the development of the hardware and the software of the shortcut. So we decided to create another ergonomic gaming keyboard. The race. We've designed the race with the same core principles than the shortcut. It's also a split keyboard, but it's much more similar to a regular keyboard. The main similarities of the shortcut and race is that both of them are split keyboards and also both of them uh, have multiple buttons for the thumb. And the race, what we've done it's we've split the spacebar in four and we've added another row under the spacebar that also has four buttons. In the shortcut, uh, we have six buttons uh, per thumb. So what are the next steps for the shortcut and the race? So this is the sixth version and this one is the first version. We've spent many months of development on the shortcut and only a few weeks on the race. Although we've been developing the shortcut for many more months, the hardware is more complex and also we need to develop a software that can guide our users. 
On the other hand, the race hardware is much simpler and we already have the technical knowledge to develop it. So the decision that we've made is that we are, even though we are going to continue developing the shortcut, we are going to be focusing on the race on the immediate future. And actually in less than a week we are going to be traveling to China to visit factories and talk with manufacturers to try to manufacture the race while we are going to be learning about manufacturing processes and techniques to continue developing the shortcut. Last week we asked in Twitter if you had any questions about what we were developing or the project by itself and we are going to be answering a, a few of the interesting questions that you sent us. Uh, the community feedback is actually extremely important for this project. Uh, actually, if it was not because of the feedback of our uh, uh, beta testing phase, uh, we would not be developing uh, the race. We take the feedback of the users and we try to modify our product so it better suits their needs. I would say that the first product would be released more or less at the end of the year. Uh, of course, we're not sure because we're still in, in prototype phase and we're going to be traveling to China and we know that the manufacturing process takes months, but more or less I would say at the end of the year. Although we are not completely sure what's going to be the final price of these products, we are pretty sure that it's going to be around the high-end mechanical keyboards uh, price. Uh, these keyboards are more complex to manufacture because uh, they have more pieces, the design is more complex, so uh, we should expect to be on the high-end. It's basically because the ergonomic keyboards require a learning curve. So if you create a product that requires a learning curve, it means that less people are going to buy it because it's more difficult to use. So if you're a big brand and you want to sell to the mass market, this is going to be an issue because you're going to be selling many more keyboards because it requires you to learn how to use them. Hope that you've enjoyed our first video blog and please, if you have any question, uh, drop a line and see you next time. <laughs>